Hello all and welcome, and I am the MGTOW Philosopher, and she's back, yes, that wonderful, magnificent, magnanimous writer, Amy Horton. I hope I pronounced that correctly, oh well. So Amy Horton <laughs> contends that you, as a woman, if you're a woman who's listening, but that a woman can... Be her own amazing boyfriend. <laughs> I, I guess she missed the word boy in there. That That's somebody with a penis. So I, I don't know how that works, how a woman can be her own boyfriend when she lacks a penis. And wouldn't... <laughs> I don't know how that works. Ah, oh, boy. Uh, anyway, let's get to the meat of this article. Of course, in truth, the meat is lacking since they have no penis, so there's no way they could be their own boyfriend, but <laughs> let's see the kind of logic and reasoning uh, skills and uh, uh, rationalizations and, and nonsense justifications and stupid arguments and the 18 ways that she believes that a woman can become her own amazing boyfriend. I'll tell you what, we all definitely know she don't have a boyfriend because uh, this broad is pumping out these stories like uh, machine gum pumps out bullets. I mean, <laughs> there's more of the eight, these 18 ways, 15 ways, 10 methods stories. I've never seen so many stories with numbers of ways to be this or that that have something to do with getting a man or something to do with not needing a man. So let's begin, shall we? So you don't have a boyfriend right now. So what? Stop waiting around and moping and start taking control over your life. There are many ways you can give yourself exactly what you would get from a relationship with someone else. <laughs> Tiltos. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's one way. And number one, treat yourself to little gifts. Uh-huh. And by the way, why, why would a man be buying a woman a gift anyway? Bitches don't deserve gifts. And you're not getting any gifts this day and age, especially as a Western woman cunt, unless you're a 9 or a 10 and you're dating some rich guy or something. This is the only time you're going to be getting gifts, okay, if you're like a hottie, like a 9 or a 10. Not this prod who's a 4 on a good day. Of course, it's nice to get off little presents that show someone is thinking of you. No, <laughs> when does that happen? When are you broads getting gifts from men, okay? When was the last time you got a gift, Amy? Never? But start thinking of yourself and taking what you want from life. If you've been working hard and you feel like you deserve that special item you've been eyeing, go out and get it. Uh-huh. Even if you can't afford it? What if you're a lady that's, say, working as a cocktail waitress and writing as many crappy stories with 12 ways of this and six ways of that to get a man and 18 ways not to have to be with a man to raise money? You should just buy yourself whatever you want anyway, even if you can't afford it. Oh, well, that's typical female logic. Just spend money to feel better about yourself. Yeah, that's very typical of your vapid airhead who thinks she can write. Number two, buy your own flowers. Yeah, that's real pathetic, isn't it? Of course, what's more pathetic is a man buying women for a, f a woman flowers. Talk about desperate. Oh, yeah, I really want to get in her pants. Oh, I'm such a loser. So why don't I just go buy a woman some flowers? Yeah, talk about an arbitrary representation of how desperate I am. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so desperate. I need flowers to get into her pants. Yes, I need to waste money on some chopped up plant matter that is going to decay and rot within several days, and in a week it's going to be stinking. Yeah, yeah, that's a uh, <laughs> waste of money. Flowers can brighten up a room, a whole house, or a little apartment that has privacy curtains because I'm too poor to afford to live in a place that has doors. And your entire day, it doesn't matter where they come from. What matters is the empowerment and joy they bring you. Clap, trap, nonsense. Flowers are bringing you joy, huh? Or are they distracting you from the fact that you have no man and you're 43 years old and have no kids? Number three, pamper yourself. <laughs> Wasn't that just what number one and two were? So buying yourself little gifts and buy yourself flowers and pampering yourself. Oh, I guess pampering yourself is something different. But notice every single one of these things, it, it requires money to be spent, which means that she thinks that having a boyfriend 
involves money being spent on you by a man. Isn't it interesting that any time a woman talks about needing to do something that takes the place of a man or being her own boyfriend or taking care of herself or, you know, doing something that's going to replace a man, it's always something that involves money. Money being spent in some way on her. Yeah, pamper yourself. You don't need a guy to tell you that you deserve a relaxing day. And you don't need a man to pay for it either. Just take your hard-earned money and pay for it yourself. Yeah, that's real popular. I'm sure a lot of women are going to fall for that. You're the master of your own life. If you need a spa day, spa day. You're a cocktail waitress. You can't afford a spa day. Get the fuck out of here in Los Angeles. Yeah, right. Give yourself a spa day. If you need extra, well, you could slather on a lot of makeup, honey, but at 43, and I've seen your big fat ass, there ain't no way that you're making enough in tips to afford a spa day. Even these crappy articles that you're pumping out three or four day are not going to afford you a spa day. If you need extra sleep, take it. Uh, really? What if they have to have a job and they have to get up early? Give yourself everything you need. Be your own best friend. Oh, there's her problem right there. She thinks a boyfriend is a friend. He's not your friend. He's there to have sex with you. You talk to him, treat him like a friend. Oh, yeah, a bad idea, honey. You show your ignorance. I'm going to pamper myself. Yeah, well, you're saying, she's saying be your own boyfriend, and every goddamn thing she's talking about requires money to be spent. Tells you how women see men as wallets. Human wallets, nothing more. Number four, learn to protect yourself. If you feel like you need a big, strong man around to keep you safe from harm, think again. Well, uh, you actually do. Because as a woman, if there's a man or anybody that wants to do you harm, uh, you're, man, whatever, you are not going to be able to defend yourself. Take the power in your own hands. Study self-defense. That's nonsense. Uh, 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 all that self-defense nonsense doesn't work. The majority of it is bullshit, okay? MMA proved that. Karate, taekwondo, <laughs> tai bo. It's all bullshit, honey. You're not going to be able to defend yourself. Even if any of those moves worked, you don't have the physical strength to employ them. All a man has to do is you try to punch him or kick him. He'll grab you and body slam you to the ground and then rape your ass, okay? In every way, shape, and form. Anally, horribly, vaginally, you're screwed. Literally. Yeah, and this is really bad advice. Study self-defense. You want to know what the best self-defense is as a woman? It's called a good pair of running shoes. Run really fucking fast. Oh, no. That would require actual work, like running daily or almost daily to stay in shape so you can run away from an attacker. Oh, I'm too lazy for that. So I'll just study some bullshit self-defense that in most cases will never even be useful because the other person's going to have a weapon and you're fucked. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a 120 pound woman, but I can disarm a 200 pound man of his knife or gun. Fantasy land. Learn a martial art. No, don't. Do everything you can to ensure you feel safe. Oh, feel safe. Oh, well, a false sense of security. Sure, you can have a false sense of security until you're dead. But uh, that's what the left is all about anyway. They're not about facts. They're just about feelings. I just want to feel good, feel safe. I don't need a man, even though only a man would actually guarantee me some actual safety. I'll just use my feelings instead to take the place of a man, and then I'll feel falsely safe. But I'm really not safe. But I just, it's all that matters is that I feel safe. Yeah, Amy, you're an idiot. <sighs> I'm sorry. All right, anyway... So, do everything you can to ensure you feel safe and sound in your own skin. Yeah, you're a genius, Amy. Genius. I mean, this is all just feminist mumbo-jumbo. Everything a man can do, a woman can do, too, so you don't need a man. Yeah, right. Except, why is every article you write about men and how you don't need them? Gee, you should talk about, about a lot about how you don't need something when you do. Almost like you're trying to convince yourself, and you're telling yourself it on a daily basis so you can brainwash your, wash yourself continually. Number five, take yourself to dinner. <laughs> Another... Yet again, something that in her mind a man would do. Of course, because it requires the spending of money. So many people are afraid of being by themselves and they go out. Like you? Anybody that's watched your videos and read your articles knows that you are all about not being alone. This woman's all over the place, by the way. One minute she wants a man, the next she doesn't need a man. Who cares what anyone else thinks? You do, obviously, if they have time to judge you for dining solo. They're lame anyway. Why don't you just go to McDonald's? Everybody there is dying solo. Oh, 
You want to feel special and unique. Uh, so go, so go to uh, some fancy place and dine alone. Yeah, okay. Go out, treat yourself to food. Well, where's the money for this shit coming from, honey? I mean, most women don't have this kind of money. Spa days, pampering themselves, buying flowers, buy themselves gifts, go out to fancy dinners. Where's this money coming from? Oh, it's coming from men. Oh, you don't have a man, so it's coming out of your own pocket? Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of women that are going to take your advice here. They're the cheapest creatures on earth, but they're going to spend their own money. I, I don't think so, Amy. Go out, treat yourself to good food, and eat it slowly and happily as you like. Yeah, well, I mean, why not anyway? I mean, actually, women, they just go into debt more and more. I mean, women, by and large, they, they, what, they spend 70% of mo the, the money. They own, like, most of the debt. So, okay, sure, yeah, go ahead, ladies. Put yourself more into debt. You're just doing what the global elites want. <laughs> I love it. Every, so, so, oh, this is, I, it must be great to, to be able to write these obvious stupid articles just to sit there and say to yourself, okay, what do men and women do together? So whatever men and women do together, I'm just going to tell women to do it alone. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that should be pretty easy to write. Take me maybe 30 minutes. <laughs> just, this is such horrible writing. Obviously, she puts very little thought into these articles. Number six, go to the movies alone. It can actually be really fun going to a movie by yourself. Uh, okay, maybe. I mean, I've gone to the movies alone, but I don't really go to the movies anymore. I download shit on my computer and I watch it there later, way after the fact. But anyway, of course, I pay for it, of course. Uh, you get to eat all the popcorn. Yeah, so what? You get to eat all the popcorn. Honey, the last thing you need to be doing is eating all the fucking popcorn, especially with that fake fucking, uh, what is it, that, 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 that fake ass uh, uh, butter that's just uh, all saturated fat. Yeah, that, that, trust me, this broad does not need to be eating all the fucking popcorn. Have you seen her ass? You don't have to worry whether your partner's joined the selection or not. The selection of what? Popcorn? It's popcorn. There's one selection. Popcorn. <laughs> you never have to go see something terrible just because someone else wanted to see it. It's pretty awesome. Uh-huh. Yeah, so what? But how is that being your own boyfriend? You're just doing shit alone. You're not being your own boyfriend. That would be like me being my own girlfriend. How can I be my own girlfriend? I don't have a vagina. I just love this lazy solipsism. The, 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 which solipsism itself is lazy. That you can just be your own boyfriend. How could I be my own girlfriend? I don't have a vagina. You can't be your own girlfriend because a girl, if you're a man, is not what you are. Oh, but I can be a boy to myself and a woman to myself. What? Who? I, I, I don't understand uh, the, 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 the premise. I don't understand. I don't understand the argument. So you can be your own boyfriend. All right, I'm just going to move past it. It doesn't make any sense at the heart of it. Number seven, take solo trips to places you want to see. What? Uh, this whole article is just do shit alone. Why don't you just say that? You can be your own companion, which is nonsense also, because a companion means another person. But okay, uh, uh, but uh, just do shit alone. Why don't you just say do you be happy doing shit alone? What is with this be your own boyfriend bullshit? That's just like the crap marry yourself. I'm going to marry myself. Well, marriage is with another person, so you can't actually marry yourself. Well, I'm a leftist, and everything's relative, and everything's open interpretation because I worship negative philosophy. So, yeah, I can marry myself. Eh? Okay. Maybe if you have split personality, uh, you know, but otherwise, no. Life is too short to wait around for travel companions. Well, that's your problem, Amy. You just wait around. You wait around, and you used to be a hot-looking chick, or at least you thought you were hot-looking, reasonably good-looking. And, of course, in today's society, where 60% of prods are big, fat cows, you look pretty good by comparison, or at least you used to. Now, you've become one of those big, fat cows or semi-fat cows with white hair and crow's feet and wrinkles and probably a saddlebag to boot. So, oh, the waiting isn't working anymore, and you bitch and moan about how you can't find a man. Men won't approach you. And why? Why can't you get a man? Because you sit around, and you wait, and you don't act. Because you went through a much of your life riding the cock carousel, sitting back, and enjoying the superior position of being a woman, where you can just sit back, not have to do a goddamn thing, and men crawl on their hands and knees to you and worship your vagina. That's not happening now. Is it, Amy? No. So, of course, now you say... Yes, I'm not going to sit around and wait for a travel companion. I'm going to do everything I want to do with someone else, but I'm going to do it by myself. Of course, 
you do that because you have no choice. But you want to tell yourself you do have a choice. You could have somebody if you really, really wanted to. Couldn't you find someone if you wanted to? Of course you could, in your own mind anyway. The reality is you couldn't find anybody if you tried. And you're not trying anyway. And of course you have such a long laundry list of preconditions they have to meet that even if you tried to look, you wouldn't find anyone. If you want to see something, just go. It's liberating to travel alone. Plus, you meet a ton of interesting people. Who knows? You might even meet an amazing guy that way. But I thought you didn't need someone. I thought that you could be your own boyfriend. So you just contradicted yourself. You don't need anybody, but you might need someone great. Yeah. Uh-huh. More contradictions. Oh, but of course. I thought this wasn't about finding a man. I thought you didn't need a man. I thought you could be your own boyfriend. Really? If you could be your own boyfriend, then why do you need to meet a man and have a boyfriend? <laughs> this is idiotic. This article is so stupid. Number eight, have your own cultural days out. What? Okay, this one's weird. Sometimes there's nothing more enjoyable than sending a solo day exploring museums and art galleries. Wasn't that just number seven? I mean, that's just a different, it's just a new spin on number seven. I mean, th this whole article is just about doing shit alone. She's just telling you what shit to do alone, which would be stuff you would do with somebody else. <laughs> so, yeah. This is really original. Exploring museums and art galleries, listen to outdoor summer concerts, attend dance parties. Well, don't you need another person to dance with? <laughs> she's such an idiot. <laughs> now she's talking about doing things alone that you can only do with other people. Experience everything that your city has to offer. Be confident in your solitude and all. It'll never feel bad. But what if you live in some hick town? What if you live in some hick town where there's no museums or anything social, anything, or any cultural, anything going on? You snooty bitch. What about then? What do you do then, huh? Oh, ah, uh, well, you're screwed at that point. I see. I mean, this broad is so elitist. All these things she's talking about, I mean, most people still don't live in places that have museums and art galleries. I mean, that'll be the, or, 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 or at least a sm it's still, it's, it's not an overwhelming majority, but still most people don't live in large metropolitan cities. Anyway, let's continue, shall we? And by the way, even if they do, all this shit she's talking about costs money. Museums are not free. Art galleries are not free. You have to pay to get into these places. All this stuff she's talking about, it, 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 geez, if you add all this stuff up, that's a lot of money. Well, I mean, really, all she's telling women to do is put themselves into debt. Good advice. Yes, real good advice. Especially for a cocktail waitress who writes this simpering crap. Number nine, learn to listen to yourself. Yeah, well, that's something women ought to do, but they really don't do. You're used to relying on a partner to listen to you while you work things out for yourself. You can still listen to your gut without getting a gut. Of course, women can't listen to their minds because they can't think logically and reasonably. So they just go on their emotions getting an opinion from another person. Yeah, don't listen to the feedback of a man. You just have to get intuitive and learn to tune in to what you truly and honestly need. What if she needs a cock? Oh, well, that's what tiltos are for, right? I see. But don't listen to yourself if you need a man, but go out and do cultural things and take solo trips so you might meet a man. But you don't need a man. Uh-huh. Number 10, push your own limits. There's nothing more invigorating than accomplishing something you never thought you could do and not knowing that you did it all on your own. And knowing that you did it all on your own, yeah. Like what? What are you talking about? Jumping out of a plane? Uh, is that what you're talking about? Or climbing a cliff or something where you could die? Yeah, good idea, honey. It's nice to have support, but it's frankly a boss move to be completely independent and get stuff done anyway. Be the queen, you know you are. You know... It sounds to me like everything this broad said is designed to convince her she's happy when she's not. It's like a mantra. Yeah, yeah the mantra repeated again and again and again. And it's supposed to have some kind of self-hypnotic effect. But really, you wouldn't need to do that if what you were saying was true. If you were happy, you wouldn't need to be telling yourself constantly that you're happy. Number 11, get into new hobbies. You can try all kinds of new things on your own. You don't need a partner in crime as a crutch. Well, that's what I would tell men. <laughs> and by the way, honey, all this shit applies to men as well, only we wouldn't be so pathetic as to say we can be our own girlfriends. 
You don't need a partner. Just like traveling, you can be more available and open to new experiences, new people when you're alone. It's fun to try new things with a boyfriend, but it's just as fun by yourself. <laughs> uh, if you're a man, I would say that's true because all a woman does is moan and whine and complain and bitch and nag. But as a woman, yeah, it's more fun if you got a man around. You're a fucking boring cunt as a woman. We don't want to be around you for a reason. Unless you're having sex with us, we don't want anything to do with you. That's why men don't want to have women as friends. Because you don't get anything out of it. Number 12, hold space for yourself. This is beyond important. One of the best things you can do for yourself when you're acting as your own boyfriend. <laughs> you stupid bitch. You can't be your own boyfriend, you dubby. Own who you are. This, 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 this one, by the way, number 12, doesn't make any sense. Understand that you have inherent value and growth. What, what, what is this? This is self-help uh, or, or some shit like that. Yeah, this sounds like one of them self-help mantras from those crappy self-help courses you, that were really big back in the 80s and 90s. You tell yourself, I am good. I am wonderful. I am special to try and reprogram how you view yourself. It's for weak-minded simpletons, <laughs> essentially. Own who you are, understand that you have inherent value and worth. No, you don't, not necessarily. And there's people out there that don't have inherent value and worth, that don't produce anything, that are leeches, that are parasites. So, uh, like most women, for example. So, you know, <laughs> really, not everybody has inherent value and worth. I could name a number of people who have no inherent value and worth, like that Dworkin broad, that old fat lesbian feminist, and, uh, you know, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, who is dead now, but he, he had no inherent value or worth. He was just a drain on the system. He killed and ate people and had sex with the corpses. I wouldn't say he had inherent value and worth. There is no one else like you. Well, that's certainly true in a lot of cases. That doesn't mean it's a good thing. You don't need a man to tell you that you're amazing. And yet, <laughs> you... <laughs> so let me get this straight. You say to be your own boyfriend, a boyfriend is a man. And you're telling yourself as a stand-in for a man that you're amazing. But you're saying at the same time you don't need a man? Ah? <laughs> Number 13, laugh at your own mistakes and learn from them. Yeah, I would say that's a good idea generally. I wouldn't say that has anything to do with being your own boyfriend. She's just giving some very obvious advice here. Of course, this is advice that women never follow. This is an advice that a man would give, and he tries to uh, point out what a woman might be doing wrong. Of course, she never listens. And women, uh, not only do they not laugh at their mistakes, they don't even acknowledge them. Of course, they laugh at the mistakes of men, expect us to be, re you know, be open to change and see the things we've done wrong and learn from our mistakes. But of course, they never learn from theirs. It's okay to make mistakes. As you're, if you're a woman, it's encouraged. And even better, when you're single, no one has to know. Sure, you can fuck up and you don't even have to admit it to yourself. You can lighten the mood on your own. You can be a tremendous fuck up and nobody will ever know you're a fuck up. Of course, the reason you're a fuck up is because you don't learn from your mistakes and that's part of why you don't have a man and need to pretend to be your own man. You don't need anyone to do it for you. By the way, is isn't very much of a stretch because women these days are more like men than most men are these days. You don't need anyone to do it for you. You have the space and the time to really think about what's happening and learn how to prevent it next time. Yeah, you have the time and the space, but none of you women ever take advantage of that time and space to learn from your mistakes. Number 14, take time to relax. Isn't this what this whole goddamn thing is about? Everything you're talking about. The majority of it's a relax and go to museums and spas and treat yourself. I mean, what the fuck? 14, this is just a, a tangential of all of the fucking, the majority of these uh, a little uh, tidbits of advice. You have no obligation to anyone to allow yourself some lazy time. Not hard for a woman. They're the laziest creatures on earth. Stay in bed a little longer. You already said that one. Curl up with them. Read a good book. A woman? Read a book? Women don't read books, okay? They don't. Women don't read. If they do, they read trashy shit like that. Shades of gray bullshit. Women don't read real books, okay? They read trashy romance novels that are on about the reading a skill level of a five-year-old, like a fifth grader or something. They read crap. They read crap when they read anything. Enjoy the quiet moments of your life. There'll be less time to indulge once you're in a relationship again. What? Wait, 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 wait. I thought the whole point of this article was to teach women how not to need a man and to be their own man. It seems like now you're saying that this is only a, like a, a fairy tale fantasy pretend time uh, to keep yourself occupied and uh, not get depressed until you find a man. 
But wait a second. If the goal is to find a man, then you need a man to be happy. And hence, this bullshit about being your own boyfriend is just that. It's BS because on one hand, you said, be your own boyfriend. <laughs> you don't need a man. You can be your own boyfriend and find your own happiness. But then you're saying, you're doing that. And you say, well, find a boyfriend now. Well, you do all this. So this is just passing time bullshit. So you're just pretending to be happy until you find a boyfriend, which will make you even happier. But this whole article, I thought the point of this whole goddamn article was to be happy without a boyfriend. What the fuck? Bitch, you don't make no sense. Number 15, make your money and spend it how you like. Well, Jesus Christ, uh, you don't. <laughs> what? Since when? What does this have to do with uh, uh, having a boyfriend? Because men uh, don't limit how a woman spends money anyway. In fact, they spend the man's money as well as their own. This is a rad part of being your own boyfriend. You have total control of your finances and how you spend your dough. Then why would you want the entire goal of your existence that you just named the number 14 is finding a man? If it's so rad, why do you need to pass time pretending to be your own boyfriend until you can find a real one? Why don't you just not have anyone and throw away this bullshit about being your own boyfriend? Ay, ay, ay. And how you spend your own dough if you don't want to go out for an expensive night in the town. You don't have to. You certainly don't have to split the cost of anything or buy presents you can't really afford. What? But didn't you just say earlier that you should buy yourself gifts and, and treat yourself? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, does she write this all at the same time or does she come back like over several days? I mean, the, these, the way she pumps out these stories, she's got to be writing them all in one sitting. So how can she go from number one to number 15 and forget that in one through five, she's talking about buying shit, spending money, and essentially not thinking about whether or not you can afford shit and just using money to replace a man, which is, you know, women will <laughs> spend money like uh, 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 it was burning holes in their pocket anyway. This doesn't make any sense to me. What? So after she just said, don't spend money you can't afford, she says, take yourself on a vacation. <laughs> this woman is so shallow and vapid. Everything she does revolves around spending money, using money, using things, using things that cost money, activities that cost money to distract her away from the fact that she has no man. And she can't even hide the fact that she wants a man more than anything else because she lets it slip into several parts of this article how her main goal in life is still to find a man. And all this is just pretend play acting to distract her and keep her mind occupied until she does. And ultimately, the main goal is to find a man anyway, even though she's saying, I can be my own boyfriend. I don't need one. Honestly, does it sound so bad to relax on the beach and drink my ties alone? Yeah, that, that costs a lot of money, honey. You can flirt with the cabana boys. That way. Why would you need to do that? You don't need a boyfriend. You don't need a man, do you? Why are you flirting with cabana boys? I thought you could be your, be your own boyfriend. I thought that that big dildo in your pocketbook is enough for you. Isn't that pocket rocket all you need? You don't need a man. You're your own man, right? Going on vacation alone is actually a lot of fun. Plus, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want. Huh? Yeah, that doesn't seem to be enough for you because it, all over this little article, you're letting slip in how you need a man. Get what you want when you want it. Well, isn't that been the whole theme of this? I mean, I, it, it, it's, I mean, talk about repetitious, get what you want when you want it. Well, that's been the entire theme of this whole article. You can say yes to yourself all the time. There's no one to tell you no. Then, then, then why did you just say that the whole goal of all of this is to find a man or it's just basically you passing time and trying to make yourself feel better by pretending to be your own boyfriend until you find a man? Now you contradict yourself. Yeah, it's so great. You can say yes to yourself all the time. There's no one to tell you no. When does no men, I mean, honestly, that's why you don't want to be in a relationship with a woman because they spend all your fucking money. So, so many pussy boys out there spending their money on women. When is it an issue that the woman doesn't get what she wants in a relationship? The biggest problem is she gets what she wants too often. Where are the men out there telling her no? You don't have to compromise or change your plans when you're your own boyfriend. Unfortunately, the majority of the time, the person who compromises is the man. The word compromise does not exist for women. It does not exist in their vocabulary. When the word comp compromise comes up, you know what that means? She gets what she wants, and you don't get what you want. You can have it all, and you will. Well, if I can have it all, if a woman can have it all, pretending to be her own boyfriend, then why does she need a man, as you just said, uh, that this whole thing is essentially about you trying to find a man. And this is just passing time. 
And number 18, love yourself more than anyone else ever could. Well, if that person is you, I imagine that nobody else is going to love you as much as you love yourself, you narcissistic <laughs> person, you. That's for sure. You're going to get amazing benefits out of treating yourself like you're your own boyfriend until you can find a real boyfriend and be really happy, even though I'm saying you can be even happier alone. The best of which will be developing an immense sense of love and appreciation for who you are. I'm a narcissistic cunt, and everything I do and everything I say and think and feel is all about me. Yeah. Once you love yourself the way you want to be loved by another, you'll never go back. And yet, number 14, there'll be less time to indulge once you're in a relationship again. Hmm. Contradictory much? I love it. The cognitive dissonance of this broad is so amusing. Let me know what you think of Amy Horton's 18 ways to be her own boyfriend in the comments section of this video. Please like and subscribe and donate to my Patreon if you are so inclined. You will find a link in the last 20 seconds of this video as well as in the description. I am the Mictal Philosopher and I hope you enjoyed. Take care.